going to create our automata lid. This is going to be the top piece for our automata that the going to kind of cover up the gears <coughs> so they can't be seen from the top. We start a new sketch and because it's going to be the top, we're going to do this on our top plane. We'll change it so I can see it from the top. So we're now on the top plane here. I'm going to start with my rectangle tool. I'm going to use the center point rectangle. And this one's pretty big. I'm going to put this one at five inches by four inches, five by four. Okay, turn the square tool off. Now I'm going to uh, draw my circle and I want to line it up right on the center on the X axis here. And I'm going to draw that circle and its dimension is 0 0.7, 0 0.7. Okay, we need a now dimension from our center of our circle to the edge. So I'm going to grab the dimension tool from the center of the circle to the edge. And this is going to be one inch. I'm going to come back and I'm going to use my linear pattern. So linear pattern, which turns off our dimension tool, turns on the linear pattern. And I want a linear pattern, this circle. Now, right now, I don't want three of them. I want four. So double tap and four. I do want this measurement to be one inch. So I'm going to leave that alone. So it'll make one, two, three, four circles. Each one is one inch apart. Now you'll notice my mouse has a little green check mark, which is trying to tell me single click or right click. I'm sorry, left click. So I'm going to left click to make these correct. Close my sketch. I'm going to extrude. I'm going to come over here and I can click on my square. It chooses everything except for the circles and I need to change my depth to 0.25. This is my depth of 0.25. Green check mark. I now need to come back and change my color. I want this to be kind of, for me, I want it to be kind of like grass. So I want to choose a green color. I'm gonna give it a second one. And that second one is gonna be for the holes themselves. And so I think I'm gonna use kind of a off yellow but that's just me. I don't, you know, you can do whatever you want. And there we go. So there are two pictures that you need to take. The first one, change it back to isometric. The first one is going to be your sketch. And that's going to be your first screenshot. So I can see all the dimensions. Green check mark. The second one is going to be the extrusion. So with your two sketches turned in, that will give you a grade of 75. If you want something better than that, you're going to have to do something creative on this top piece here. So good luck with that. Right. So I think because I'm making a Mario based uh, creation here for my automata, I'm going to start uh, making some of the Mario bricks. And, uh, you can look, uh, look up pictures of what you think it should look like. So I'm going to do a sketch on this surface and I'm going to start with the we're going to start with the corner rectangle and I'm going to come down here and I want to start not in the corner here, but away from the corner because I want it to be freestanding. I'm going to come over here and again, I want it freestanding. So I don't want it touching the edge over here. 
I'm going to give it a depth of 0.5 and then I'm not going to type anything for this other number. I'm going to come over here and choose my dimension tool and I'm going to dimension the distance from here to here. I'm going to call that 0 0.05 and the distance from here to here and I'm going to call that 0 0.05 and again we're trying to be creative here here to here we're going to call that 0 0.05 and it's going to be a freestanding square and the reason i'm creating this is i want it to kind of hide the what's going on with these circles here the the covers it's going to hide by hide in the covers behind it extrude i'm going to choose the square and extrude it up and i'm going to extrude it 0 0.5 green check mark. Now, for me to be able to see this a little bit better, I'm going to change it and I want a brick color. So I'm going to choose kind of a brick red. I'm going to choose this extrusion, green check mark. Let's close that. All right. Now, I need to make this kind of look like bricks. So, I'm going to start a new sketch on this surface and I'm going to use the corner rectangle tool and I'm going to start here, touch the edge, and I need to give these some numbers. We know it's 0.5 tall, and I need to divide that by 4, but I need a little bitty gap in between. So instead of it being 1 point, or, uh, 0 0.12, uh, 0 0.125, I'm going to make it 0.12. So this height is going to be 0.12 enter and my width here is going to be this is the first brick i'm going to call it um, 0.1 and then i'm going to do the next brick it's going to be 0.3 over so i'm going to go next round i want to line it up and we're going to call this some silly number i don't know what and then I've got my last little brick piece. It's going to go there. And I need to give it some measurements. Let's call this 0.12. We're going to do that's great. I'm going to grab my dimension tool. And this one is going to be, let's go 0.3. I'm cool with that. Distance between here and here is going to be 0.03 because I want the pattern 0 0.03 hey it's looking pretty good then we're gonna do some more bricks we're gonna go across we're gonna say that it's gonna be 0.3 and this is gonna be 0.12 distance from here oops dimension and again, what you're doing is you're, create, you're creating the illusion of whatever it is that you want to create. It could be spikes. It could be uh, uh, just little cubes. It could be crenellations. You know, we did the, the tower earlier. You need to do something creative on here.
And there you go. So that's me creating some bricks uh, to make it look like Mario. Uh, you'll notice I kind of changed the color back here. So I'm gonna have to come back in and re-choose that. Oh, it's not gonna let me do that. So let's create, cause it's when I changed the color here. So let's change that to the green that I wanted originally. And that's kind of what you're looking for. So you're gonna take two more screenshots, one of your sketch of whatever it is you created so that I can see the numbers. And yeah, this is convoluted, but if you zoom in like that, if yours is that complicated, if not, just zoom in, give me the dimensions, and then take a screenshot of what you've done for that second part. And there you go. Good luck.